Hi friends, we have been talking about New Year. So last week you created artwork to show me how you celebrate New Year's. This week we are looking at how other countries celebrate New Year's and we are starting with Chinese New Year. Now, one of my favorite parts of Chinese New Year are the dragons. So the dragons are important because they scare away everything bad from the old year and then the magical tails and scales bring in all of our good luck and happiness for this year. So the dragons are a really important symbol. I am using red for my dragons because red is a color of protection. You do not have to. This is going to be done in a couple of different parts. So you may use regular notebook paper. You can use any paper that you have. Today, we are just going to make our dragon heads. So to start with, you're gonna need your notebook paper, whatever construction paper you have, and we're gonna go through this step by step. So to start with, we're gonna start with our dragon's mouth. Now, because we want our dragons to be scary and chase away all of the bad from last year, we're going to make an open mouth so we can include all of our teeth. So for my open mouth, I'm going to start with a smiley face. Then I'm going to connect both sides of the mouth. Now we're going to add in the teeth. So for my teeth, I'm going to use triangles. So I have a super scary dragon with all of those teeth. And we will go back and add color a little bit later. So after the mouth, we're going to add the eyes. Because our dragons are mythical creatures, you may add your own eye shape, but we're still going to include all three parts of our eyes. So first, we have our eyelid. That's what creates the shape of our eyes. Second, we have the iris, which is the circle inside the eye that has the color and the muscles. And the third part we're going to include is the pupil. So the pupil looks like a little black dot, but it is the hole in our eye that gets bigger when it's dark to let light in and gets smaller when it's bright outside to protect our eye. Without letting light in, our eyes can't see. Now you get to have fun you get to decide how to decorate your dragon. Do you want to give your dragon nostrils? Is it a fire breathing dragon with some smoke? Does your dragon have eyelashes? Are they normal eyelashes or are they spiky? What about eyebrows? What kind of eyebrows do you want to add on your dragon? Does your dragon have spikes around it? So you are going to work to draw in all of the different details for your dragon and then you're going to add color. So as you add color to your dragon, keep in mind dragons are mythical creatures so you can decorate them how you would like. All right my friends have fun making your dragon head and adding color. When you're done send me a picture of it in the assignments page and hang on to it because next week we're going to work on the tail and the body. All right, my friends. Bye.